3v1 now. They're going for the knife on Zaz. It's only 11-10. Is a knife really what you want to be thinking about? I would start to disagree. I mean, this is actually looking doable. Zaz punishing the knife attempt in a 1v3. You go for a knife and then you throw it all away. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Fuck, dude. He's pushing through I'm the back. I'm sorry. I, I, had, I goosed one of them at mid. It's probably push. Ooh! Oh, uh, spawn, I heard. Spawn, yeah, yeah. No! Oh, oh my god. Take yeah. He retakes that man advice back and keeps things even. Three on three in the retake. Engine. Does dink down Golden. But it's all going to fall to Major. That's the dispatch of JW here. They're going to make their way into the site, but both these players tagged very low. That nade's enough to do it. They're both going to go down oh. surely. And Major slam dunk of the century. Still a three on three in that mid player in Dupree is going to be a big problem for SK Gaming. They need something and there's Fallen picking off one, going for the scope again. Second kill coming in and he takes down Dennison. Dupree, he can't see a thing. They're right in front, defusing the bomb. The smoke, oh, oh my God! Dupree taking two and falling back, going for the shot no tonight. Way. Are you going to be kidding me? Dupree winning the round. Surely he's used up all of his good fortune in that previous round. 45 seconds left in this one on three. He's got to hope for a mistake. And he's found Colterra. Still alive. Fur and Bolts trying to get together. This bomb is going to get planted as they rotate into position, but somehow Dupree has another chance. There should be absolutely no way in any universe that this can work out. One versus four. AWP, they knew where he was. The bomb is down. And now they're going to try and double push him. They don't have a kit currently picked up. That's a big problem. He gets another kill. Taken down. Oh, no! Oh! Again! And again and again, Dupree winning it for Astralis. 11-4. History in the making, ladies and gentlemen. Astralis on this map has been a bit shaky, all things considered, because yes. we do still think of them as one of the best teams in the world, but they've had some concerning results and some concerning lack of faith in this map in their pool. They've started picking, you know, a map like Train over this at times. This is a big nade. The spam to follow! Zipex is a genius! Three kills! That is so beautiful! It even gets a fourth. Go for the ace, and you're gonna get it! Getting one headshot, planning inside of the smoke is Dennis. And a little bit of cover coming out here, and NBK with such a great kill, and that's all they needed. Now it's a lot of trouble. Dennis alone in the one on three, gets a couple of kills, and now it's just Kenny Le oh. And Dennis, oh my god, you've got to be kidding, he picks up three kills and saves Astralis. Bomb sign here. They've got so little to work with, and Taco is there. Oh, actually, they're going to gravitate the bomb back instead towards the A bomb site. Taco's been lingering up here in the hallways for a long time, and he hasn't heard or seen anybody. Dennis with the boost on the other side, a bit of a crossfire here, he's actually got his back turned, sneaking in his cold syrup, but he goes down, Dennis with a great double, turning it in to a triple on the quad, and just like that, long and quiet game, but Dennis certainly coming around alive here in round number 15. Teraz trzeba się naprawdę wziąć w garść i w końcu mapę wygrać. Gruby od respa tutaj postrzelał wyskakujących terrorystów, ale cały niecelne, gruby atakowany, dobry flash dla grubego. I może rzucali go terroryści. No i gruby z jednym fragiem wycofuje defensywnie, kiedy był atakowany przez Lekro. Ten cały czas dojeżdża tam już na blisko Lekro w walce z dwójką naszych zawodników, ale w końcu Fulan dwa trafienia. Bardzo ważny dla fragi dla Furlana, bo dzięki temu możemy powalczyć. Tylko pytanie, gdzie jest Defius? Czy Defius jakiś był po naszej stronie? Ale tego chyba nam brakuje. Już podjeżdża Furlan na dywanach. Był zawodnik terrorystów, ale PHR prosto w rywala. No i Furlan broi bomby na raz. Czyżby? No to niemożliwe wręcz. To jeszcze JW wychylał, ale Furlan! Jaka piękna pestka Furlana! I to są trzy fragi. To hat Furlana. Ale jakże się wychylił. Już myślałem, że to będzie po rundzie, kiedy JW tylko pikował na moment, żeby sprawdzić. We're going to be going out as they execute in. Lecro in the mow down position and mow down he will get for the ace onto the pistol. Tao, give it to him. And he'll get it. Lecro, ace, all headshot. Spray is good. Pistol's even better. Good job bomb on the back of Miles. And 45 seconds to work with in this one versus two. Oh, that was actually some great thinking there from Sad Zed. They do realize the fact, good job here, that Kingwin are up in towards, well, possibly middle. 
They're gonna be hitting either the A or B bombs, and then to him to expect it to be the mid. Oh, oh. Mouse somehow does kill Sazed in that situation. I wonder about a possibility that a player could come not only from say heaven, but he also can come from oh he sneak past Brew. Well, Pop has in fact sneak past Brew. He's on the side itself. It's not gonna be expected, but Mouse somehow does survive that engagement. Uh, as the thing is, they also have some of the utility to block off. The vision from the CD side, Capra and Rallin, uh, still kind of alive here, but don't expect much from them. Rallin, not a lot of HP, and Capra, is he gonna, oh, he's gonna go for the push with the smoke, he's gonna drop coffee! Oh my Goes god! More. And Lollipop now, he's left in a one versus two! What a huge play from the Deagle and low HP on the low T side player here, out towards Checkers, he will get shot down! Caper! That is goddamn huge from Kingwin. Good job. Gonna get pushed up upon him. You know, eventually Kingwin should be able to find his frags, regardless of whether it's a default or just a straight up rush push. Whatever happens, this should go to the favor of the CT side. Rallon will get the first and the second. Mal's also peeking up through B halls. Could find the bomb plant. Maybe he does, but Coffee comes in from the back. Two nice kills for him. So Con's recovered. Doesn't pick up any, looking out towards checkers. They may get a bomb plant out of this, but that's only a bonus here for good jobbers. They're making it very expensive here for Kingwin. Rollin is going to get taken down, and Coffee with four kills on his P250. Can he make it the ace against Kaper? It's the Clutchmeister versus the Clutchmeister from both sides. Great grenade does some good damage, but Coffee peeks out, gets the dig. There is no goddamn way. Coffee is going to get taken down. Ace denied. And if he played a little bit more passively, maybe he could have baited Kaper into a close range fight. But look at Miku, his position is key, will be getting two frags, that could be enough, but he could use some backup as well, a third frag for Miku, the terrorists are coming Miku! in, a fourth one for Miku, and now Box, he's all alone here and could be Miku, Miku but no, it's now Maus who's gonna have to clutch here. One versus one, Box with a 3k clutch, but he doesn't have the information. Mihu making huge work on the A site. 4K4 and a mouse will slowly peek around. Box is going aggressive towards truck. Is he trying to play around this info? Does he think he's coming in from main or does he think he's coming in from the CT sport? He will eventually peek and the headshot will come through for the T side. Oh, he's going to spot him tapping three times, four times, five times. Damage on through, but Box eventually locks out the shot. It's now a one versus one for Kaper with no armor, but an AK to play with the spray could be good. And now he makes his way in, actually flash misses, goes back in towards market and Box takes advantage. Could be a nuisance, and the thing is, he is. He did allow the people cross, and now it's all up to Lollipop and Sad Sad. Lollipop playing in the shots, but now they're up against two low HPTs. This is plausible. Spero peeking out, doesn't get the headshot out, and meanwhile, Sad Zed looking for me. Who takes him down? Two versus two. Defuse kit on Sad Zed, and he might just stick this. Actually, this is plausible. So long as Lollipop keeps the distraction together, smokes are going down. Sparrow's going for the knife, and he's actually not going to be able to get it in time. Good job, Sad Zed, the hero of the round. They will all tie, but look at the little smoke. But really, Team Kingwin, they don't have to press the issue. Two versus three, they just have to hold back and defend, as you say. No need to force anything out from Good Job. They have to concede this one eventually. Or go for a risk. Phoenix takes down Sparrow. Incendiary out to the palace position. And Coffee burns mouth. It's all Rallin spraying on through. But Phoenix has stuck it. The headshot will come through. World where all oh, Sparrow is able to get that frag. That would have been massive. But his team is though. And the A are doing some work. Capper is going to be able to pick up one more. But he's also going to be dropping dead. Mouse now up against Free. Three relatively low HP players, that's one out. And the Molotov does reach Lollipop in the end, and Maus, he's not, he's, yeah, he's gonna be sticking it. Of course, Kafi not gonna be pushing through Molotov like that. That'd be insanity from him. Spotting out the player, gets the frag onto Phoenix. And now it's all up against Kafi, and this is doable. Doable for Maus, and that's a low HP player. Spots him out, could be going for the wall bank, but really, all he's gotta do is just land one shot, and Maus is able to put Kingwin up to two. Maus, though, spotting out oh. the shadow, that's gonna be good enough. Cross locked, he looks up towards Connector, takes down Sad, and they're trying to get a trade, but no! Roland doubles down, and Mihu gets the closer! Kingwin are going to the finals, and good job, they did a good job, but they couldn't close it out in the end, and the Belarusians 
who will go out in their own tournament in disappointment. King win and walks it. K Buck coming around the other side. He's going to get taken down. He manages to get the strafe pull it on towards Issa, but it doesn't matter because the rest of his teammates have fallen all around him. Sparrow spotted. Dead Fox has the info. And now the rest of the CTs will just close out the crossfire. Right, Sparrow does burn Dead Fox alive, so that's one thing. But now the AWP up against two more. A 4K clutch for Sparrow. And a minute to make it happen. Bomb on his back. Peak spots, Angel. Takes a dink to his head. 10 HP. And so far, nothing will be found. Fate's not tempting, Fate. We'll just wait for the bomb to get planted and start to peak up as a result. Sparrow now. Going to peek back in towards Connector. Spots him. And brings King with an 8. The 4K clutch for him. Well, to be exact, the rest. Happy Isa holding towards events. They're going to be creeping in here slowly, but surely Team King and Capper and Miku are making their way, and they're not making a single noise. Angel may not expect it. Angel doesn't. And there we go, Miku with the frag. There's Issa still right there towards Vents. It's down to Issa versus Capper. Capper, he's not going to be sticking it just yet. He needs to get the kill. He needs to get the headshot. He's going to have to hurry up. He's going to stick it right now. Issa is taking his sweet time. He finally oh! spots out Capper, spots out the head, and gets the headshot. They think it's just the pistols brought up with this a uh, AWP. A minute still left to go right now, and Hellraisers are making their way into mid control. It's Rattlin to try and challenge, but Angel will take him down for a second. He's going to get double peak, but still taps all three heads off. Nicely done. And now Sparrow just to rotate alongside Maus. Maus actually out towards the AFB site, and Sparrow misses that shot. Angel with a 4K. Can they make it an ace to close this out against Kingwin's awkward pistol orc fight? It looks like he can. That's the first ace of the, of the tournament, I think, actually. Kingwin's left for this one, and Angel's going to go get aggressive out towards Morgan. Takes down one, sprays the second, looks for his third kill. Will get traded up by Maus, but now it's a one versus four, tapping his way, trying to find the taps to victory. He can't even pick up the bomb. It's back towards Squeaky. He's got a real orientate himself and he can't quite find it there it is but the cc's have taken the opportunity to get themselves set up and what sick will land the last hellraisers in a two to one series fashion will be able to claim the fcdb cup 2017.